rest. I have gel in my hair. I haven't slept all night. I'm starved and I'm armed. Don't mess with me. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm good. We all fell in love with Sandra Bullock when she made us laugh endlessly throughout Miss Congeniality. So when she found love in the arms of Jesse James, the world could not have been more thrilled. On the red carpet and in photographs, the celebrity pair looked like a match made in heaven. Sadly, things quickly turned sour when suddenly headlines of numerous tabloids alleged several cheating allegations against James. At first, people thought they were baseless rumors. That was until Sandra packed her bags and moved out of their California home. What made things worse is that Jesse claimed it was inevitable, and he never thought Sandra loved him. What followed was one of the messiest, most humiliating divorces in the history of Hollywood. And we've got everything you need to know about it. Don't forget to subscribe to Rumor Juice. We have all the juiciest scoops on all your favorite, or not so favorite, celebrity couples. Sandra and Jesse met when she had arranged for her then 10-year-old godson to meet Jesse for his birthday back in late 2003. At the time, they took a tour of Jesse's garage, West Coast Choppers, because the youngster was a fan of the show Monster Garage. The reality show was well known for showing audiences the process of how a group of maverick mechanics attempted to transform ordinary vehicles into completely different machines. It was there in Jesse's garage that sparks flew between the two. They hit it off almost immediately and soon started dating. After two years, Sandra and the motorcycle guru made their love official. On July 16, 2005, the lovers tied the knot in a romantic ceremony in California. Jesse already had three children from his previous marriage. So when the couple wed, not only did Sandra become a wife, she became a stepmom too. Here's the thing, I have children. I married into children. I love those children. My concern and my love for those kids as a co-parent is no less than if I had that child biologically. I don't see the difference between that and having your own child biologically, Sandra shared. The actress seemed happier than ever, and her career was on the rise too. At the Golden Globes, Bullock scored an award for her role as Leanne Tui in The Blind Side. During her acceptance speech, she looked lovingly at Jesse and said, To my husband, there's no, there's no um, surprise that my work got better when I met you, because I never knew what it felt like for someone to have my back. So thank you. Everything seemed perfect. And in an interview with Barbara Walters, Sandra even said, I hope the same people that are in my house today will be there 10 years from now. Sadly, in 2010, just when fans thought the pair couldn't have been happier, In Touch Weekly reported about Jesse's alleged cheating with model Michelle Bombshell McGee. Michelle confessed that she had an 11 month long affair with Jesse. The model went on to explain that their affair had occurred while Bullock was filming The Blind Side. Michelle claimed that Jesse told her, She, Bullock, doesn't live here. She has a house in Austin. She is filming and I can't talk about it. A second woman, Melissa Smith, came forward to have also had an affair with Jesse that lasted for two years. TMZ was later able to obtain a letter that Melissa had faxed to Bullock's agent. In the letter, she reportedly said sorry and ended off with, Please contact me if you wish to discuss on the phone or in person. Then a third woman, Brigitte Deguere, also came forward to tell the story of her affair with Sandra's husband. She claimed that their affair had begun in 2008 and had over 195 text messages from James to prove her story. One of the texts from him read, I'll be your monkey. Sandra's world had just come crashing down. What made it worse was just as Michelle made her confession, several other women came forward to share their own account of their affairs with Jesse. With her heart and trust broken, Sandra packed up her things and left their California home. The actress decided to pull out of the London premiere for The Blind Side. Warner Bros. released a statement on her behalf. Due to unforeseen personal reasons, a trip abroad to support The Blind Side has been deemed impossible at this time. I apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused, and thank you for your continued support of the film. Shortly after the shocking news, Jesse issued a public apology to Bullock and their children. However, he didn't seem to take responsibility for all of the allegations. There is only one person to blame for this whole situation, and that is me, he said in a statement. One, I knew it was horrible. It made me feel horrible. And two, I knew I would get caught eventually, and I think I wanted to get caught. 
It was me trying to self-sabotage my life. However, he went on to claim that a vast majority of the allegations made against him were untrue and unfounded. He added, it's because of my poor judgment that I deserve everything bad that is coming my way. Jesse went on to acknowledge the pain and embarrassment that he had caused his family, and he hoped that they could find it in their hearts to forgive him. Unfortunately for Jesse, it was all too little too late. It wasn't much later that another woman, Marilee Girth, came forward to admit to her affair with James. She also went on to sue him for sexual harassment after their alleged affair. Sandra filed for divorce from her husband one month after the affair news broke out, and it was finalized just two months later. James went on to check himself into rehab at Treatment Center in Arizona to seek help for what he described as personal issues. In an exclusive interview with People Magazine, Sandra revealed she was adopting a three and a half month old baby named Louis, born in New Orleans. Bullock confessed that she had begun the adoption process with James four years ago, but decided to keep it under wraps until after the Oscars. It's like he's always been a part of our lives, Bullock told the magazine. The issue with Bullock's new adopted baby on the cover sold three million copies. According to the actress, she gave the child his name because it was one of the first names that came to mind. Louis Armstrong's song, What a Wonderful World, kept playing in my head when I looked at him. So Louis just seemed to stick. Hanging his head low, James was currently one of the most hated men in Hollywood. Rather than avoid the press and keep the details of his relationship with Sandra private, he took every opportunity he could to share his side of the story. In an interview with Howard Stern, Jesse confessed that he never believed that his ex-wife loved him back. I always felt like any moment that rug was going to be yanked out, he said, referring to his relationship with Bullock. And when referencing her Oscars acceptance speech, when she announced how much she loved James, he still couldn't believe her. Yeah, she could stand there in front of the whole world and say she loved me, but in my mind, I was thinking, yeah, bullshit, you don't love me. According to the former reality star, he didn't cheat on Bullock right away. For a couple of years, they were in a bubble of happiness. He admitted that he felt like he really loved her. Unfortunately, when it came to Sandra's fame, he didn't feel like he could compete. I married America's sweetheart, and she's one of the biggest stars in the world, but I'm still this fucked up kid from Long Beach. The stuff that I did was bad. I don't think that necessarily nullifies everything I felt. I really did have real feelings for her. The problem was me. In the process of their divorce, the former reality star also lost custody of their adopted child. He admitted it was the most challenging part of the divorce, and he also didn't think it was fair. Jesse didn't think that he should have lost custody of his adopted son simply because he had been unfaithful to Sandra. He was heartbroken that he wasn't going to be able to watch his son grow up. What was the hardest part of the whole situation for you? I think uh, losing my son that I adopted, so for sure. However, when it comes to Sandra's fans, they believe that Jesse got what was coming to him. His infidelity had gone on for most of their marriage. While Sandra was the ultimate stepmother to his own children, he chose to break the vows they had made to one another and sleep with other women. Rather than be proud of the success that the actress had made with her career, he seemed to resent it. In general, both women and men cheat. It's part of life, Jesse said. Fans think that perhaps he envied the fact that Sandra had become one of the most successful actresses in Hollywood, while he was simply a reality star? We'll never truly know why he chose to betray Bullock the way that he did. But what we do know is that the actress has come out better for it. Sandra has admitted that she is grateful for her divorce from James because it led her to where she is today. She explained that it's when you stop looking that you end up finding everything you've ever wanted. My life took a trajectory that wasn't very pleasant, but I feel like it had to happen in order for me to fully understand what family was about, the actress admitted. My kids are mischievous enough, they fight the perfect amount, they're like, they're the most beautiful, like, funny, inspiring little people. I just, I'm lucky. Five years after their divorce, Sandra found love with Brian Randall. The couple met in 2015 after she hired the handsome hunk to come to take photos at her son Louis's birthday party. Since then, the pair has been happier than ever. According to Bullock, it wasn't until she was fully healed that she could meet the person who would eventually become her soulmate. They are best friends and partners, a close friend of the couple shared, adding Sandra is Brian's greatest supporter. Sandra is looking forward to her future with Brian. Another friend of the couple shared, 
Sometimes they sit back and laugh because they look at their lives and they feel like an old married couple. They're set in their ways and content. The kids are healthy and happy. This is all she's ever wanted. This is heaven for Sandra.